Hi guys, welcome to 2021. I'm sure all of you are as happy as I am to see 2020 gone. It's been quite a crazy year. I'm back creating an Egyptian theme silhouette today. I have lots of in-depth videos where I explain my Crafty Gen silhouette process and techniques. And there's a link to the playlist in the description below along with supplies that I'm using and also to my pre-cut vinyls if you're interested. If you just want to enhance your acrylic pour, try it out, you can definitely check those out. There's also a link in the top right hand corner of this video so you can go to my store and see all the vinyls you can get to play with. So this is a silhouette of King Tut and I many years ago I was fortunate enough to go to Egypt visit the pyramids and also I got to see King Tut's headpiece which solid gold it's got beautiful inlaid like semi-precious stones there's like turquoise and red so those are kind of the colors I'm going to use today I thought I would do the main swiping color of gold and have some turquoise and red and stuff uh, that I would swipe over. And then on the left hand side I'm going to paint a nighttime pyramid scene to kind of complete the whole theme here and finish off this painting. So I'm just drawing with a pencil the outline of the silhouette or the vinyl that way when I lift up the vinyl I know where to apply the Liquidex gloss varnish and you just need a thin thin layer of Liquidex gloss varnish underneath the vinyl as well as on top of the vinyl so I take a paintbrush put some gloss down and spread it out really good and push the vinyl into the gloss and then I also put vinyl or gloss varnish on top of it. So um, this year I took an extended break because at Christmas I was so busy working on creating making my own Christmas presents and also I had a bunch of custom orders for Christmas presents so I was working really hard on those and it became a little bit too much to do everything. So I kind of just took an extended break creating those, which were super fun. I had, I really enjoyed making them and stuff. And then I had to deliver them all to everybody as well as family because we weren't like all of you probably. We weren't getting together over Christmas. Ours was a virtual Zoom and... So we just drove around and everybody delivered gifts to everybody beforehand and then we kind of zoomed everybody opening them. <laughs> it's not what we usually do. Usually we have a big get together and lots of good food and we always open gifts and everything. So it was a little bit different this year, but I look forward to a day when we can get together. Um... And I also in January just wanted to recharge, took a break, worked on some sculpture. I When I went to university for fine arts, I did a lot of sculpting and sculpture class and stuff. And I really wanted to get back into it. So I've really enjoyed getting back into some clay work and stuff like that. So that's been really fun to work on and just recharge and rethink where I wanted to go with some of my art pieces and even this channel and stuff like that. So I've got some great ideas that I came up with and can't wait to make them and share them. I keep a journal with everything logged in there so I know what ideas I have and don't forget them and stuff like that, which I'm sure a lot of you probably do as well. You probably keep a journal if you come up with a good idea or if you don't you should like write it down and that way you can always look back on it and be like oh yeah I thought of that and I wanted to do that or different even colors like color combinations that you come up with or something just write them down in a book and you know if you forget about it later you come back to it it's like it's new and then you can work on it when you have time so that way you won't forget what color combos you were thinking of or 
or even crafty ideas or something like that. So that's where I find Pinterest is crazy because sometimes you can think of ideas and then pin some stuff to them and work on it and it's super great. So um, this is right now where everything's dried for the Liquinex gloss varnish actually dries really fast guys. So I didn't have to wait too long to do the pour. And here are the beautiful colors. I got gold, I got red, I got blue, I got turquoise. And these are some of the colors of the stones that were inlaid in King Tut's headpiece. So it was really, really beautiful. I also brought some black in because iconically gold, black, it's very, you know, they have it on a lot of their pieces and stuff like that. So I got to add the silicone in there. And I just put a couple drops. You can check out my ebook for beginners. Uh, it's got everything in there for mixing and stuff. It saves me having to write it every time. And you can keep it on hand to use for mixing for your own col combinations for acrylic pouring. So love it if you guys check that out. And I'm excited to use these colors because... They're very vibrant and I wasn't too sure how the gold was going to react going over top of the black or even the blues, but it worked out actually really pretty and I was super happy I did this color combination. So I decided to go with stripes for the colors because the beading on the head piece that I saw, all of the beads go into these stripes along on top of the gold and stuff. So that's why I use stripes on the head colors. And now it's time for the swipe. This actually went really good. I'm reusing some transparency, which is totally washable and the cells will grow naturally. You can, I use the torch to pop the silicone bubbles and that helps to create more cells and get them to grow really big. So you can also do swipe back and forth if you want to. Definitely experiment and play with it and just have fun with it. You're going to see also further down the video that I, um, once this was dry, I used the positive side of the vinyl to protect this painting in order to paint the night pyramid scene on the left hand side. And that works really great. Uh, um, even if you're painting just one color or you want to paint a scene, just helps it make really easy step and brings the whole painting to another level and dimension. So I'm just fixing up some of the, sometimes when you pull off the vinyl off of really cheap canvas, because this is just a canvas from Michaels, I just take some gesso to fill in the holes and it's super easy. You can sand down any bumpy stuff and just fill in the holes with gesso, let it dry completely and it's ready for paint. You'll also notice on the back that the gesso might go through. Just don't touch it. Just let it dry, leave it bumpy. Nobody sees the back. Totally fine. So here I'm just taking that vinyl off. It lines up perfectly, obviously, because it's the positive side of the negative. And you just put it on there. You don't have to stick it down with any gloss varnish. It's just basically pressed down. And that protects it while you paint your negative side. So without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video where you can just watch me paint the beautiful nighttime pyramid scene.
So I just wanted to say a huge thank you everybody for subscribing, watching, liking my videos. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the links in the description. I greatly appreciate when you use my Amazon links as they help me out greatly and there's no extra cost to you. I hope you guys have a blast creating your own acrylic pore silhouettes and thank you so much. Happy creating guys.